everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Christopher. And if you like lifestyle, luxury, planning and organization, skincare, basically if you like anything, this channel is for you. So go ahead and click that little red subscribe button and while you're at it, you might as well hop on over to Instagram. I'll leave my handle right here on the screen. I post over there daily. It is a great way for us to connect and get to know each other a little bit better. Today I'm bringing you a video around creating a year-long capsule wardrobe and this works whether you are female or male. I'm going to give you some simple rules that you can follow. But really the reason why I'm creating my own capsule wardrobe today is because I've been thinking a lot over the last few weeks about us as human beings and our mass consumerism and also just thinking about the things happening in our world and really thinking about like what is the most important. It's the quality of your life, not the quantity of things you bring into. So I've really been thinking about this. If you were on my Instagram last night, you saw that I was going through my sunglasses to pare down the collection of 20 to 30 that I have down to two um, that I really love and to give them to other people and friends. And um, I'm going to do the same with my clothes today. I also did it with my shoes on Saturday, I believe. I went through and got rid of almost, uh, not almost all, but probably 30 pairs of shoes um, and just pared down to the things that I really love because it's about the quality um, and not the quantity that I have. And I find that the more I let things go, the better I feel. So I'm gonna keep the things that truly make me happy, that I love the most, that will work all year round, and I'm gonna walk you through those steps. When I dove into my capsule wardrobe, I really just thought about a few things. I thought about the color scheme that I wanted to stick with, and then I also thought about the pieces that I would need to both function professionally as well as casually into my life. When I thought about my color scheme, it was really quite simple. So I'm sticking with black, blue, gray, white, and then camel. Um, and most of my camel stuff will come in my coats. And then when I thought about the pieces, for me, I need to have a decent amount of work clothes versus casual wear. So I'm sticking to 40 pieces, and this is the way that I broke it down. 12 long sleeve shirts, five t-shirts, five trendy shirts that I can switch out for seasons, four sweaters, three cardigans, eight pairs of pants, that breakdown for that is two jeans, two casual, four dress, and then three pairs of shorts. And that comes to 40 pieces that I will have. And then what I'm going to stick with is whenever I bring one thing in new, one thing will have to go out. So I'm gonna start blasting some music and I'm going to pull everything out of my closet and put it on my bed and then we'll start going through it. first thing that I pulled out was this guest vest from probably 2004 and it has a skull on the back. I can't tell you the last time I've worn a skull, but I don't need a guest vest from 2004. Also, this is probably one of the most hideous vests. It's for running, but it doesn't match my colors and I've never worn it. A blazer that is made out of sweatshirt material. First of all, a sweatshirt should never be made into a blazer, so that's gone. No. This obnoxious coat, which I might, I'm like, ooh, I might keep that one. I have a fur vest that has a hood. I've never worn it. It still has the tag on it. It was uberly expensive. It's not real fur though, so don't go after me for that. I'm never gonna wear it. So what I'm doing now is throwing things like this hideous fur vest that I don't know why I own into three piles. This is going to be my keep pile, so these are some cardigans that I know I love. This is going to be my donate pile, and then there is going to be a third pile that I don't know if I want to keep. So I'm going to actually box that stuff up and see if I want to keep it. And if I don't touch it in six months, I'll pick up that box and send it to donations. So create three piles things that you think you want to keep because then we'll go through this with the rules and make sure that I'm keeping all of these things. Stuff that you know you want to donate that you will not ever touch. And then I'm going to start a third pile of things that like I might want to use but don't know if I'll wear them. T-shirts are a little trickier because I have ones that are dressy that I wear as like part of outfits. Others that I've gotten from like running a race or that just mean something to me um, like a concert tee. And then there are others that I use strictly for working out. I can keep five dressy t-shirts, 
five that mean something to me that I really enjoy, and five for working out. My working out shirts are the only ones that might not match my color capsule, um, only because when I work out, I tend to wear brighter colors. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Five, five, and five. So I will have 15 t-shirts, um, only five that will be like part of my wardrobe wardrobe, um, so it still stays within that 40 capsule pieces. All right, gang, so I narrowed down my collection. So these are my eight pairs of pants. I kept a light pair of distressed jeans that I like to cuff and just wear out on the weekends, a dark pair for dressing up. Then I have gray dress pants, black dress pants that are kind of casual. Um, the pair of like lightish gray blue, navy blue, and then I kept these camel ones and then also this lighter khaki. Then right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dress shirts. The other ones are in the wash right now, but I kept two white dress shirts, a light blue one, and then some with some smaller prints, but all fall within my family, a simple black and white checked one. And then the other ones that are in the wash are just a light gray dress shirt and then um, just another light blue shirt, which is a different fabric. Now we're gonna move over to my cardigans. This was the hardest because I love a big oversized Zhuzhi cardigan. So I have this big waffle knit one, this really thin one that I wear on planes, another black long one with the, has like a leather zip detail to it, gray one is the same exact as this black one with the zipper, and then a little dressier, um, kind of like nautical cardigan that I can wear to work and throw over and feel a little um, more put together and it's not as casual as these other ones. Then we move into like my miscellaneous category and for me most of it is denim. So I have this long line dark denim shirt, um, this distressed denim, a white oversized button down which you guys know if you watch my vlogs I wear all the time, this denim tunic, this denim print oversized shirt, and then this one that I wear under sweaters a lot, it's like a chambray. But these fall into like a different category for me of like casual wear. I wear these with sweatpants, I wear them going out. Um, so yeah, I kept them kind of separate. Now, where I found I struggled the most figuring things out were sweatshirts and sweaters and t-shirts. Um, I won't lie, I kept about a dozen gym shirts that are just like t-shirts that I wear to the gym every day and shorts and some running tights, probably equaling about 20 gym pieces. But for those of you who know me, know that I work out every single day. Um, so it's important that I don't have to do laundry every single night, so I did keep a pretty wide variety of workout gear, but I'm gonna show you what I landed on as far as sweaters are concerned. Here are my five sweaters I allowed myself to keep. Uh, this rusty brown one doesn't fall into the color wave, but it's pretty close, but I love it so much. Then I have this camel oversized sweater as well. These two I will wear all winter. And then I have a navy blue v-neck, a gray v-neck sweater, a black v-neck sweater and then I ended up keeping six because I have this black panda sweater and if you've seen my vlogs around vlogmas I really really love it and I find lots of occasions to wear it so um, yeah I kept that one as well so that put me at six pieces and then I did struggle with sweatshirts but I had to keep some so I have like just a plain gray hoodie a glossy a sweatshirt these two that I picked up in Belgium, one has like a flower print, and one is that owl um, sweatshirt that everyone comments on. And then the other one is just a plain navy blue sweatshirt. And I landed on these five dress t-shirts. So you guys all know I wear a basic white tee all the time. I also have this one. And then another color that kind of came into play that um, wasn't in my original plan, but I do love this shirt, is just like an olive green another plain darker gray, a long sleeve black and white striped, another gray t-shirt, and then this one with the sequin sleeves that um, I wear occasionally, but not often, but it's one that I definitely wanna keep. That is my whole entire capsule wardrobe. It's truly the quality and not the quantity of the pieces. And when I bring something in from now on, I will take something out. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this works for me. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to leave them below. But here are the rules. Pick your color scheme, 
Go through and make three pals, things that you know that you really, really love, things that you're unsure about, and then things that you know you can definitely, definitely donate. By going through those three pals, it will really let you determine what are important pieces to you. And then what was really interesting is after I did my first round of sorting, when I went back, I realized like, oh, I don't want to keep this. Like, I'm going to put that in the donate pal. So many things got moved over the donate pal just because I had some more time to just think about it. And when I pulled it back out. I was like, oh no, I didn't need to keep this. Um, so those three pals really work for me. Now, I do probably have 12 to 15 pieces that I'm going to put away in one of the guest room closets. And what I'm going to do is after the new year, if I haven't touched them, I'm going to simply just donate them all because clearly I haven't missed them. But they were pieces that I just wasn't ready to let go of. Pare down, purge a little bit, and keep truly the things you love. Um, it is all about quality over quantity, and then remember, bring something in, take something out. And I hope that you do the same. Um, I feel like a huge weight has almost been lifted, which might sound weird, but it feels really, really great. So in the meantime, I will leave this video like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone.